If you go into my office, you might notice as you look around that there are a pair of broken boards on a bookshelf right beside my desk. You might wonder, seeing them there, why I have them. They were the first boards I broke learning Taekwondo, and they are there to remind me that I am capable of more than I think. Today we will meet the man who wants to teach you the same thing. The Fulcher Small Business Spotlight is brought to you by the Paul Lytle Insurance Agency. Savings, security, service, all right around the corner. Call for a quote on auto, home, or life insurance at 832-266-0153 or just stop by anytime. Golden Eagle Taekwondo is located on 1463, just north of 1093, right next to Starbucks. The place is simple. After taking off your shoes, you will find a large matted area. There are sparring dummies, kicking pads, and weights in the corner, but most of what happens here is against your own body, your own limitations, and your own mind. It is a place as much to learn discipline and control as it is to learn kicks. You aren't here to learn how to win fights. You are here to learn to control yourself. It's hard work. It's a fantastic workout. It's inspiring. And it's a lot of fun. Before I spoke with the owner, I sat down with a customer. One, one who has both her children enrolled and also herself. Do, do the benefits of your kids being in Taekwondo extend beyond just in Taekwondo? I think, I think so. I feel like it does. Like, I've seen a lot more confidence in my daughter. She's not afraid to do new things, to try, try something else. She doesn't see things as being difficult. Or if it does seem difficult, she, she doesn't say, I don't want to do it. She says, all right, I'll give it a try. It looks like it's going to be hard, but I'll give it a try. My son is learning every day. He's getting better and better at, at just controlling himself and following directions, which has been a huge issue hmm. with him. And he's, we're working on getting him to not run away from people when they're talking to him. See, my son does that. Mm -hmm. and, um, actually, my son, uh, he's a big Star Wars fan, and he force lightnings people. Which we're trying yes. to get him to stop doing. People say hi to him and he goes, shh. It's like, great, great. He's a Sith. <laughs> but, and so you're going into your first belt test. Yes. Um, this, uh, in the next couple of days. Yes, on Saturday. Great. Right, so, um, uh, what, what do you think, what do you think about things so far? Um, I really enjoy it. Like, I've learned a lot of things and I'm getting in shape and I, I feel I feel good about what I've learned, and I don't know. I wasn't I wasn't I didn't start doing this expecting to like do belt testings or anything. Hmm. I started doing this because I wanted to get exercise and I wanted scheduled time where I was getting an intense exercise because that's what I want and that's what I'm getting. Right. And I don't know. I guess I wasn't expecting to do belt testing. I wasn't thinking about ever becoming a black belt or anything like that, but. But I don't know. It's kind of growing on me. And then, are, you, are you starting to think about being a black belt? Yeah, I am. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I am here with Master Aaron. I really appreciate you, you having me here. Um, this, uh, as as you know, um, this place is, is very special to me. And um, and so I, I definitely wanted to, to have your story have your story told. So so first off. How did you end up in the Vulture area um, opening uh, a Taekwondo place? Well, um, Taekwondo business I started in 2007 from Tulsa, Oklahoma with Clay Master. You probably met him, uh, much as so. Uh, he came here, I uh, ran off him, uh, he performed some farm Um We uh, built a business together and I had to relocate to Houston. Uh, so we came here and we faced some difficulty or challenges of life, same as everybody, mm -hmm. um, storm of life. Um, we went through that, um, but uh, we live five minutes from, literally from here. Uh, location was convenient for us. We 
never thought that we are going to be able to find any place because, as you know, it's hard to find in commercial area here. Because everything booming, but all residential areas are by the bank. But uh, it happened. It yes. happened. And we, we didn't pursue uh, aggressively, but it happened. So mm -hmm. I thought that this is the will of God, and we are going to have this without, without uh, our effort. So uh, it was a great opportunity for us to be. And, and we knew that this market is growing. A lot of people is needing, a lot of people is needing this kind of educational um, facilities to, to improve a lot of people's health and the kids' educations and their futures. You see, it's, we are I mean, I'm very proud of being part of uh, their life now. Well, that, that's one thing that, that surprised me is how much of what you teach here applies beyond that door, but to 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 life. Mm -hmm. And and every time I see you with uh, with the, the kids' students, mm -hmm. you know, you're uh, you're applying the discipline here to to everyday life. And I, I was like, okay, you know that. That's fine. He does that with the kids. You've done it with me too. <laughs> and so, um, so, so, tell me a little bit about that. That this is not a, this is not a discipline that that's just about getting in shape or learning the discipline, but it actually applies uh, everywhere. Right. Um, it's very easy for me to teach just fancy kids or just taking skills or martial art based on physical abilities. That's very easy part. And that's any person can do that. If you dedicate, you spend time, you sweat out, and any kind of person can do that. But what we are teaching here is it's not only making the winners. This is not the place you come, we are just training for winners. We don't do that. We trying to help them to when they fail in their life. In any place, any any area of their life, they can be able to stand up and pursue one more time mm -hmm. and fight back what they need. How you do that? Uh, the way we are teaching is first from white belt to yellow belt to orange belt. We are focusing on focus, discipline, and respect. Mm -hmm. We not we even telling to our our students. We are not going to test today's testing day. We are not going to test on your skill. First priority is your confidence and your respect and all those important things that we are teaching the first stage of their, their journey to the black belt. And um, believe or not, uh, many times I see a lot of school focusing on the winning mm -hmm. or kicking and only uh, gold medals. When I started this business, first thing that uh, I caught up with the same thing. I want good students, I want athletics, I mean the, the best of the best, and I can form a really great elite class and we go to national games and we go to pursuit to the matter and the only junior Olympics all those kind of dreams that every master might have. Um, obviously, still I do have those dreams and I do pursue, we have very potential uh, student who's pursuing. In fact, you already know that we went to several different national level of championship. We, we gave a lot of matters, but uh, I had experience in the beginning stage of our opening uh, the business. Some Parents, most of parents that who comes, uh, they are needing some help because lack of focus. Mm -hmm. Each student, it doesn't matter if it's adult or, or physical ability or coordination issues or, uh, or something that they want to improve their life. That's the most of the case they are coming. One of the experiences that I had in the beginning stage of our business when we opened. Um, Obviously, I want to have uh, quickly uh, building some business, some businesses and some students come and we have some classes that it works and all that. Uh, I was so busy 
trying to get that done and that far, you know, just pursuing and pursuing. I mean, the, the, doing advertising on it and letting the people know to come, to, to come and try our class. Um, but in the beginning stage, I was like, so desperate about building this business and one little uh, boy came over and we tried the class with others. Um, he was very distracted. He was, he was just so uh, he couldn't listen. He didn't listen, and he didn't, we couldn't control him in the beginning. So I was doubting myself that am I going to be able to continue with this boy, mm -hmm. and how am I going to handle him like this? And others felt not that would like this. And all that kind of uh, worries and, and thoughts that came, to me. and obviously uh, there was trial day. You know, a little bit with parents and uh, or his mother told me uh, some challenges that they are facing mm -hmm. I promised to help them. And then I uh, during my quiet time some community yeah. came to me and these questions. What is my purpose here? Mm -hmm. What am I gonna do? Am I just trying to pursue a uh, building a number of students? Uh, or is that So then I realized um, uh, I had that conviction the next day we met again and I was talking to, to the, the mother of the child, the boy, a uh, student, and I promised her I'm uh, never going to let him down my heart. I promised her that I'm going to do the best I can. And all I was asking her to trust me and you have to trust yourself. So we have to all work together as a team. And she was so happy mm -hmm. for that opportunity. And we did work together. And I separated him until uh, I didn't know what was going to happen, but I, I offered him private class. We worked with him uh, not long, few classes. Mm -hmm. And he was already reacting, responding. He was changing. He took us a few classes that he was able to just go back to normal class. And that I'm talking about like four, five months ago. And this boy now, we went to Oklahoma State Championship together. He got gold medal. We went to national championship. He got gold medal. I mean, uh, when I see life changes like that, that's so. It, it's nothing can compare with in business side of what not many people can have that kind of feeling on experience. So this is so meaningful for us to work in with kids adult. As you know, we are not only focusing on entertainment at all. And we push to the limit with this side. And um, we love our kids. It is important for one of the my missions a statement is building a next generation. But we also focus a lot on the class. I love the class. I love pushing it. That's so much fun. We don't give any limitation for for the class. We go beyond. If we can push one more step, one more kick, we will do. So that's the fun part of our Love. We are building up and a lot of people is enjoying, a lot of people is involving, especially parents. That's a great way to do also because there is relationship that you create when you sweat together, when you do together, when you test together, when you break together, when you punch together, and you are, you have on the same understanding, the same as you go to football game and you know you love something together and that's something that you're building up to. So take one the same way. This is especially good because we are building up disciplines. We are building up respect. And, and I'd like to see this.
this generation bring back that respect each other. It's not only respect that we make of some kind of formula, but the true respect. You know, I love you, but at the same time, uh, I respect. So that then it to be done a good mutual. We cannot just do them one way. So that's the reason that uh, parents and, and sons and, and daughters practice taekwondo together. They build something amazing relationship together. So I just wanted to share that. That's that experience as well. That's fantastic. Well, thank you so much for, for uh, letting me come by today. So as of the taping of this, I am one day away from our next belt test. And so by the time you see it, hopefully it'll be a yellow belt. You know, I came here originally to try to get a little exercise, try to get better shape, try to lose a little bit of weight. And I found those things and you know, I continue to find those things. I'm, I'm also finding you know, a lot more energy, uh, a lot more structure and good friends. So this is one of those businesses, like a lot of them in Fulcher, that I'm very happy to have come across. Um, again, my name is Paul Lytle. I'm with the Paul Lytle Insurance Agency. Uh, if you are looking for, for an insurance agent to come across in town, I hope you'll give us a try. We're in right downtown, right across from the post office. Give us a call, stop by anytime. Until, until next time, you've got to practice. Make sure you hear about the next Spotlight by liking us on Facebook and subscribing to us on YouTube. Thanks for watching.